Hey you guys, MetalBikey82 here, back to show us more plunder that I've acquired over the last little while. Been a while since I've done a video. I went on vacation recently with my family, was gone out of town for almost 10 days. It's just great getting away from everything, but uh, yeah, got a lot of stuff I need to show. Got a lot of videos I'm behind on, uh, reviews that I've been wanting to do, just have not gotten to. So yeah, gonna do some uh, indie metal uh, support here in this video. Got a lot of really cool stuff to show, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Starting off with this awesome shirt from Flesh Bore. Uh, amazing, technical, melodic death metal out of Indianapolis. Been around since uh, 2017. And I had actually intended on, um, I had actually ordered, I should say, the uh, artwork shirt for their latest album. But um, after a while, if it hadn't shown up yet, I contacted them. They said they meant to contact me because they had actually had their inventory wrong so i ended up having to get a different shirt and i got that one i still love it though it's just great to have a new shirt from an awesome band from here in indiana uh next up i have a couple here from a band called dead men who are a uh, sludge metal act out of indianapolis indiana uh, i'm not sure when exactly they uh formed but it actually features current and former members of bands such as uh demericus coffin worm sacred leather among others i uh, picked up a couple things from them uh one physical and one digital because they only had the one physical uh, first up we have uh, possession of the void on a uh, black seven inch vinyl yeah, this was put out by uh, Clandestine Arts back in 2010, and this is their debut EP. Uh, they also have another EP called Grave Opener, which I said is just a digital only. Uh, currently, it is uh, independently put out by the band back in 2013, and the best way to describe this band is just raw, aggressive-sounding sludge metal. And, you know, sludge metal has been a genre I've said before that I've not always been the hugest fan of, but I do find some bands that I do dig, and uh, Dead Men definitely are one of them. Next up, uh, I've showed this I don't know how many times, but uh, this new edition, I just had to pick it up. This is Grave Ripper with Radiated Remains. Of course, uh, Blackened Thrash slash Speed Metal out of Indianapolis. Been around since 2019. This is their second EP overall. Put out by Wise Blood last year in 2021. This is actually the one-year anniversary edition that was limited to 100 copies. Comes in a cool little uh, slip case. Has actually raised uh, print on it. Very cool stuff. Also contains their Complete Blinding Darkness EP as bonus tracks. Um, unfortunately, mine, the glue kind of came a little undone uh, while it was in transit. But luckily, I found one of these little uh, plastic things on another cassette that I had. And I just put it in there and it holds it all together. So yeah, awesome, awesome stuff. Go check them out if you have not already. Next up, Obscene from Dead Horizon to Dead Horizon. Uh, Death Metal out of Indianapolis, been around since 2017. This is their second full-length album overall, put out by Blood Harvest uh, just this year. I've actually done a review of this, so if you want my full thoughts, uh, go check it out. Um, they had three different variants of uh, the cassette here, because of course, you know, I had to get all the different versions. Of course, I do want to pick up the vinyl here at some point. But uh, yeah, they had three variants, limited to 50 copies each. They had a white, they had intense pink. And then the one that I went for, which was the Vomit Green. It actually looks a lot uh, <laughs> kind of neon on the video, but this is more of like a lime vomit green or, you know, baby poop green, you can almost call it. But yeah, really awesome album. The scene has just gotten better and better. I am really looking forward to seeing them next Saturday uh, live for the first time. Then I got two from the uh, same band here, and that is Cult Hammer, who are a uh, black and roll outfit out of Indianapolis. Been around since 2011 and actually features Nate Olp uh, from Demiricus and Carl Byers, who both were in Dead Men. So, you know, some nice little connections there. Uh, yeah, and they've been in a bunch of other projects as well. Uh, first up, we have the uh, self-titled here. Comes on a nice white tape. 
And uh, yeah, this was put out by Clandestine Arts back in 2014, limited to 100 copies. Uh, this is actually a second pressing of the cassette. I do believe this is sold out, last that I checked. But uh, yeah, really good stuff. And then we have uh, Oath. And this one, again, comes on a white tape. And yeah, second full-length album put out by Small Hand Factory back in 2016, limited to 300 copies. Um, there was some left the last time I checked, but it's been a while since I actually uh, looked because I made the notes for this uh, video a long time ago. And yeah, this is just basically fast, headbangable, and just thrashy at times, black and roll. Uh, really good stuff. Definitely recommend checking them out. They also have a split with Sacred Leather. And uh, that is actually the only thing that I am missing from this band. And I have not been able to find a copy as of yet. And speaking of Sacred Leather... I picked up uh, their Ultimate Force album here. Love that album cover. And uh, Sacred Leather are actually a uh, heavy thrash metal band out of Indianapolis. Not sure when this band uh, exactly formed, but this is their debut full-length album put out by Cruz Del Sur uh, Music back in 2018. And this actually features Dustin Boltias, uh, a.k.a. D. Wrathchild of uh, Demiricus. He was formerly in Cult Hammer. And uh, a bunch of other projects as well. He's actually on vocals here and does a fantastic job. Uh, I'd say basically if you love Judas Priest or any of the new wave of British heavy metal bands, you will definitely dig Sacred Leather. So go check them out. And last but most certainly not least, this is actually the... Uh, album that i said in my jl records raid video that i was going to be showing in a different video because it was you know an indiana band and this pretty much completes my uh collection of this band as far as i can tell but this is the split release between human filleted and embludgeoned of course human filleted brutal death metal band from lafayette indiana been around since 2005 though they are currently on hold uh this is their actual debut release uh it was a split release done by savard records back in 2007 and in bludgeon i had not heard until i actually picked this up they are a, a slam brutal death metal band out of pittsburgh pittsburgh pennsylvania excuse me uh active since 2005 though currently the status of this band is unknown and if i remember correctly i think this is like the only thing that they have actually put out so i'll have to look into that again like i said it's been a while since i've done the notes for this video so yeah that is gonna do it thank you all so much for watching and subscribing keep tuned though because i've got a lot of stuff to go through and like i said i'm gonna be getting back into reviews just gotta work on them finally and get them finalized so yeah until next time, stay brutal.